deep ball. He'll start out of the gun. Sense in the pocket, throws, and that sails high, and that's been one of the problems against everyone except LSU and Alabama. Not a bad sophomore campaign, all things considered. He's already got a long touchdown run in this game. Looking to throw here on first down. It's complete. Let's see what Fitzgerald can do here on third down and 15. Pressure coming off the edge. The pocket collapses, works his way out of it. Looking to throw. Now he's going to tuck it. And he's escorted out at the 30. And he moves around like a running back out there, Glenn. Dropping back. Fitzgerald hits Ross. Nice move to get around the defender. Shit, what a career Fred Ross has had. A guy that's really worked at his craft, learned all three positions, spent countless hours on the judge machine, and it's really paid dividends for him. Fitzgerald goes through his progressions, complete to... Did you cry? I gave Mama a big hug and a kiss, <laughs> and it was a, a very emotional day. I did not cry. We're going to have to show you a picture of uh, Ross's haircut up close again. Ooh, that was nearly picked off by Brooks Ellis. Eighth play of this series for Mississippi State. They've hurt themselves on a couple of occasions with penalties. Fitzgerald looked like he slipped. Still got it to Ross. And he... They roll the pocket to the right. Fitzgerald gets out there. Good route there by Fred Ross. Ball delivered on time just over the zone coverage. Constantly making plays. Second and nine. Fitzgerald has plenty of time. He'll float another one down the field. Third down at nine. Fitzgerald incomplete. There's a little field again. Fred Rice, Fred Ross here just on a slant route. Comes inside. That ball's a little bit high, but a senior like Fred Ross. I'm going to put that on the quarterback. I can't put that on him. He... Play action. Fitzgerald throws it to Gray. Contact penalty marker. Alice, Tony Romo, now the backup, and Ezekiel Elliott. Wow. Nick Fitzgerald trying to lead this team back. That's while he was here at Mississippi State. He said the guy's a true winner. And when the game's on the line, Dak Prescott is the guy you want at the helm. You know, unfortunately, he didn't keep his feet to get up field. Second and one. That's complete inside the 40. And to see more of Malik Deer. Only the third time in Arkansas territory tonight for the Bulldogs. Fitzgerald going deep. Has a receiver. It's Ross. Touchdown. Again. They needed a big play to get back in it. Nick Fitzgerald, what he does best, throws the deep ball. And he allows his best target. Fred Ross, maybe a little bit of a push up, but a good job adjusting to the ball and backpedaling into the end zone. The injury suffered in practice this week. And we'll throw here a pump. And another nice catch for Fred Ross. Well, we knew Nick Fitzgerald was going to have to pick it up here in the second half. And he finds his favorite target, Fred Ross. Nice pass and good. Again, Dan Mullen, when he gets a full off-season with him to nurture him, to culture him, he's going to be a pretty good SEC quarterback. There's another strike. Ross inside the front. Boy, Fred Ross. Look at him. Go out and get it. Use his hands to catch the football. It's Gerald Ross. A nice one-two punch here in the second half. Fake it to Williams, drop it off to Ross in the flat. Two tacklers quickly meet him get at the next level. He's going to have to. He's going to have to be a contributor. And fourth wide receiver on a team. And that was intended for Couch that time. Ross is in the slot. He's looking for him. Got him! We give a lot of credit to Arkansas on the offensive line. And Austin Allen, the running backs, they've been great. But... Well, on the other side, the Mississippi State defense, they did not come to, to Mississippi State. And that was his first season. And he's staring at another one now. Jamal Couch makes the catch. Every eight years, they make a bowl. They make it six straight, and they're on the cusp of not making it. And it's like the walls are caving in. The walls aren't caving in. This program's in great hands at Dan Muller. 30 yards rushing. He, he's showed you the full complement 
of tools that he brings to the table. Took a shot at the end zone intended for Green. Think of the tough schedule he's had to deal with this year. As they screen to Ross, gets a block, finds his way to the end zone. Another touchdown in the final home game for the great Fred Ross. It might be a loss for the team, but this is a great way for this senior to go out. Well, we've seen him down the field catching the football here in the screen game. The offensive line gets out a couple of nice blocks, and the senior with a big-time performance here tonight, his last time in front of the home crowd. Over 170 yards receiving, a couple of touchdowns. Happy for that young man right there. And Fred Ross, all the hard work he's put in, Clay, it's yeah. paid off for a great career and, and a really nice evening here tonight on Senior Night. One of the most likable guys on this Mississippi State roster, so they're going to go for two. It's already a two-score difference. Fitzgerald throws incomplete. He went for Ross. And the difference stays at 16 points with 2.15 to go. Well, tonight after a full day, 